Hey Railheads, we've got some operations for you today. Coming up on the Finger Lakes Railway layout. You might notice I'm pulling out of the yard in the opposite direction that I normally do. I'm running my consist backwards with 2309 as the leader. And that's because we're switching Seneca Foods today. And that industry is a facing point for my normal direction of travel. If you're not familiar with the term, it just means that the open switch is facing the front of the train. So if we want to spot our cars on that spur to the right, there's no way to back the cars in there unless we run around the train and that can take some extra time. You may have seen me using my proto throttle as I run my trains. If you're not familiar with the proto throttle, they're kind of set up like an EMD control stand in a locomotive. You throw the reverser handle to the right to go forward, center is neutral, and left is reverse. And of course there's a variable brake, a bell, and a horn. The throttle handle has eight notches, just like the real thing. So in order to keep the throttle handle direction the same when you reverse your consist, Proto Throttle has a reverser swap function. They make it easy to swap the direction of your consist with one push of a button. Now I think NCE works differently, I'm really not sure. We're dropping off a tank car and a reefer today. And if you're wondering about the little two bay hoppers at the front of the train, I got a real tight radius at Seneca Foods. My locos don't like it. So I use these short wheelbase cars as a handle. And they don't have any trouble with the curve at all. Jumping back to the proto throttle for a second. I've got my reverser swap function programmed to this little up button. So I don't even have to go into the options menu for it. I don't have to power down the throttle or anything. It's pretty handy. And I got my other little button here programmed for the e-stop. Well, most folks would probably rather see the trains running than the proto throttle. So I'll wait till the end of this video and show you how to go through the menus and program the reverser swap to that little button in case a few of you are interested. We're going to pick up these two empty tank cars and drop off a full one. I still need to replace these with corn syrup cars.
Well, that takes care of Seneca Foods for today. I'll let them boys head back to the yard while I show you the proto throttle menus. If you don't have a little button configured, you go into the options menu to turn the reverser swap function on and off. To assign the function to a button, you go into the configure function menu. Now cycle through till you come to the reverser swap. Here I assigned it to F21 because I was not using that F key. Now keep cycling through this menu until you come to the up button. And here's where I assigned it to F21. The LAT means latch, so if you push the up button, the function will stay on until you push it again. And there's also a momentary option for the button. You'd use that like for a sound you only want to play once when you hit the button. I really enjoy switching this industry now. And now I need to revisit Cargill Salt. It didn't get the attention and details it really needed. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Take care.